Hey y'all, little vertical hope today from Faith Builders Ministries. I'm in Exodus 13. And what already happened was the plague, the 10 plagues went to Pharaoh. And uh, Moses was pleading with him to let God's people go. And he finally did. And so we are in Exodus 13, verses 17 through 18. And this is so relevant. So I want to read it. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, that though that was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led the people around by the desert road towards the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt armed for battle. Woo! Let me tell you this. He said, if I would have taken the shortcut, because there was a shortcut. If I would take him the shortcut, when they face battle, they may turn around and return back to Egypt. Egypt always represented bondage. I want to tell you something today. Many of you are going through some stuff and you are thinking to yourself and even said out loud and maybe even confess to a friend or a husband or a spouse that I don't know why God don't take me around this. I don't know why he's making me walk through this. I don't know why I'm having to wait. I don't know why he didn't take me over there. That's the shortcut. He's God. Doesn't he know that's the shortcut? That's shorter than this way. But I'm telling you, as sure as I'm standing here today, that they had to go through the Red Sea. They had, that was a faith builder. Because here they are standing at, can you imagine standing at the edge of this Red Sea, this huge sea, and Pharaoh's army and chariots are racing after and about to catch up with you and kill all of you? Can you imagine what they were thinking in that moment? Why didn't he take us another route? Why didn't he trick them and take us somewhere else? But I'm telling you, God was building in them a faith builder. God was building, and what he was building in them was way more important on how fast they could get around to the other side. And so many of you, you're going through something right now, and I'm telling you, God is building in you right now by taking you the long route around. And let me tell you, I've been the long route. Almost every single thing I've had to believe for, I had to go the long route way around it and have my faith built. But I, I tell you another thing, having to go through it the long way around built my faith for the next thing that I was going to face. So they were going to have to believe God after chapter 13 for not only water, but food, manna. There was a lot of things they were going to have to build, uh, believe God for. And so he done delivered them out of Egypt. Not only did he deliver them out of Egypt, but on their way out, God said, uh, he, he convinced Pharaoh to give them all their gold, all their goodies. So on the way out, the, the Pharaoh's army were sitting there, Pharaoh's people were sitting there handing them, taking off their jewelry and saying, okay, here you go, here you go, here's my gold. Here." So he not only let them out of, of captivity and bondage, but he gave them all their all their gold and silver and, and stuff. So anyway, they get there and they want a shortcut. When I go into prison to minister to the ladies, they sometimes they pray this, not all the time, but there'll be a few that pray that ask me to pray this. Would you pray that I get a shorter sentence? And my answer is always blanket the same way. No. I will not pray that you get a shorter sentence. What I'll pray is for God's will because if I it, God knows that if you face war, if you face drugs out there, if you face that old boyfriend out there, if you face prostitution out there, that you might turn around if he gives you a shortcut and a shorter sentence and head back to bondage. So I will pray for God's will in your life, for the timing of God in your life, for his sentence to be set only by him, not necessarily by the judge, but that he would give the judge even uh, wisdom on your sentencing. So just be encouraged today, a little vertical hope today, that if you feel like God's taking you the long way around to your miracle, to your prayer, just know that he is building faith in you that wouldn't otherwise be built. Amen. Yay, man. All right. So be encouraged. Be encouraged. I know it's hard. I know it's frustrating. I know you can, it's, it makes, draws you to tears and on your knees at times. But I'm telling you what, he's building something in you that's far more important than what you're believing for. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Now go out there and be an answer to someone else's prayer and get your eyes off you. <laughs> bye bye.